Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to this somewhat unique update of SimGolf. In this update, we are going to be playing a completely different course than our own. Now, our course is pretty good, in my estimation, but all things considered, it's a fairly normal course. And, you know, the funny thing about video games is that with every great game, there's some nerd out there that's willing to take it to the extremes and just really push what the game is actually capable of. And that's what we have here today. So, well, the course we're going to be playing today is called Xanadu, and it's by a guy named Copernicus. I found it on some website for SimGolf, a GeoCity website. <laughs> and basically what this course entails is a bunch of trick shots. And I think it's a pretty interesting little course, so I thought I would go ahead and show it off today. Now the first thing about this course is hole number one here. You'll see it's just a little tiny hole, and you just shoot over some water, cross over a multitude of scenic bridges, and we'll make a two on this hole. Even though it's only a par two, and we get par, uh, he explains in the text document that comes with this course that for some reason, this hole style right there on hole number one sets golfers automatically at invincible attitude, which you can see down there at the bottom uh, under our shot selection. And basically, what that means is that the combination of invincible attitude plus our golfer taking a perfect shot that's signified by him saying, oh mama, like you see right there. It means that his shot will do exactly what you want it to do. And that allows for interesting shots like this. I believe this hole is called Backspin. And unfortunately we don't get sound effects, but apparently there's a hidden tile in there somewhere. I don't know. Pretty much the same thing on this hole right here. We're just going to take a nice backspin shot at this Buddha right here. This video is heavily edited because unfortunately getting an oh mama shot is completely random, even when your attitude's invincible, obviously. I mean, the game wasn't set up for a course quite like this. I think the pictures are really interesting in this video, don't you? <laughs> unfortunately, we don't get one for every hole. So this shot on this hole really boggles my mind. I'm not entirely sure why this works. Taking a draw shot right here. I don't understand how this guy even figured out the physics behind a lot of these shots. It's really remarkable. And on top of that, he really made the course quite uh, nice looking. Don't know what I make of all his use of deep rough around the course. I guess it looks okay, but yeah. Look at what? <laughs> I don't understand why the ball does that. It just, I don't, I don't get it. I actually, this is my first time making all these shots, by the way, so I'm as surprised at what happens as you guys are. <laughs> I was like removing these trees trying to figure out what the secret is. I go to the elevation, and it goes from like 10 to 4 to 0. I don't know. Pretty interesting. So yeah, it's pretty funny. We'll end up doing just as well on all of these holes as we did on that very first hole. <laughs> Getting a 2 on every single hole. You'll also notice down there at the bottom that his, the golfer does have 100% in every stat that we're playing as. Another high backspin shot right here. I'm kind of curious... Boing. I'm kind of curious how landmarks and all the deep rough factor into the shots that we take here. 
And there we go. I was kind of disappointed that that picture didn't stay up. It just was an instant picture. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting shot right there. Not in the shot itself, but yeah, you'll see that this actually goes from 10 all the way down to 0 in 1. I actually do a little bit of rotating on this hole. Don't adjust your monitor. Just trying to figure out what just happened. <laughs> How much time do you think he spent on each one of these holes? Unreal. You never know what's quite what's going to happen because there's so much extra land on all of these holes. You could really get away with just uh, the tiles you exactly needed, I would think. But he takes the extra effort of making the course look really nice. Again, unfortunately, the picture doesn't stay up there for too long. Not sure what causes that. Probably because it didn't fit in the entire screen. All these shots are definitely picture worthy though, don't you think? <laughs> Honestly, I think all of these landmarks, just like, yeah, how our partner here, I think all these landmarks are on the course because <laughs> the computer golfers just can't handle it. <laughs> They can't handle this these these holes, man. <laughs> All right, on this hole, it actually took me a long time to actually take the shot because I was like, "No way, are you sure this is what you want me to do, bud?" <laughs> like the elbow of the shot's gonna be in the deep rough, and the ending part of the shot is right in the sand trap. I'm just like, "All right, let's go for it." And bang. Just get a nice roll around the tree right there. Kind of reminds me of some of my Kirby's Dream Course shots. <laughs> Using the tornado power to go around hills here. I don't know. This shot took me a couple tries because, you know, it's funny, he gives the exact yardage that you're supposed to take the shots at, but there's quite a few instances of 238 on that exact area. And that'll come into play a bit later also, but he's always right, I don't know why I doubt him. I don't understand how the ball can take such bounces. Using just high backspin, it seems like the ball goes even further than it was originally hit, or bounces even higher. Not quite, but almost. Maybe we should experiment with some things like this on our own course, but let's be real. I bet you we spent like a year on this course. Here's a hole where I it took me a lot of tries, because you can see that there's... You'll probably miss it, but there's one area where you can hit the ball 200 yards and there's one teeny tiny point where you can hit it 201 yards so I thought he just messed up typing or my game wasn't translating right right here but wow look at that roll that's just incredible the ball rolls all the way down into the pit and all the way back up and still has enough money and that's a pit that goes from 10 to 0 I believe I don't know but we definitely saved the best for last right here. This shot is amazing. I I don't know. This shot is too much right here. This is a par 5. Look at that bounce. Ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that he's making judicious use of firm fairway for these to make these shots possible. A third bounce and a fourth bounce to just barely land on the tip right there. Are you serious? Ridiculous. So yeah, that's uh that's all this update is. Just showing off this incredible course that you wouldn't even think is possible from just playing the game. But yeah, that's all for this update. 
short and sweet. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time back on Ocean Grove, our regular course. Peace.